Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk with you, I have a hair in my face. Today I'm going to talk with you a little bit of a lipstick declutter. So I am going to show you some video of where my lipsticks were, what it looks like, and I wanna go through with you what I got rid of and why I got rid of it. So let's go ahead and dive in. I know a lot of people do it where like they'll put all their lipsticks on the floor. I cannot do that. I would die. Like all of my stuff has certain areas. I usually keep most brands together. I keep like um, lip pencils together, all that. So I think it would absolutely kill me if I were to just like throw it all on the floor and then re-put it away and stuff like that and reorganize it. So. One night while my husband was watching TV and I was just hanging out and stuff, I decided to declutter my lipsticks and tried them on my lips, dried out my lips so much, um, just wash them on my hands, just smelled them, went through them, just different things like that. I have never decluttered anything. I am kind of a, when it comes to that, I feel like I pay a lot of money for these things. I don't want to give them away. I don't want to throw them away. I don't want to get rid of them. But realistically, I'm never going to go through that much lipstick. I'm never going to go through all that before it goes bad. So I went ahead and decluttered some of it. Some of it I'm gonna to send to my best friend. Other stuff I am going to donate. Um, I feel like lipstick is one of those things, it's kind of controversial. Some of them I'm throwing away if they smell or when. I'm sure there's somewhere around here that I can give them away. I would love to say that I would give some of them to you all, but I think it's just kind of like, it's more, it's more costly to mail it all to you or sell it all to you, things like that. But at the end, I do have a giveaway of some lipstick products. I am giving away of things that I've never touched that I just had in back stock I'm never gonna get to or I don't like. So I will be giving that stuff away, so stay so tuned. This is the baggie I have sectioned off for my friend. There's a few other things in here too. Um, one of the first things I'm gonna give her is this Carez Lip Butter. I ended up getting two of these. This one I used once, so it does have my little finger swatch in it, but she's not going to care. Um, this is the one, in they're very moisturizing. They have like a little small little tint to it, nothing crazy. Um, but I really do like them and I do recommend them. I just have another one that I will never get through, so I'm gonna give that one to her. Also, I have this Bobbi Brown lip gloss. I got this as a free thing one time when I was buying a bunch of stuff. It does have a little bit of almost, this is in Sailor One, it does have almost like a little bit of a cherry tint to it, but not really. It's mostly just for gloss if you wanna to top it off something. So I am getting rid okay. of this. Another thing I have is this Marvelous Moxie from Bare Minerals. This is um, came in a sample set one time. I have not used this one specifically. This is in Hot Shot. I love this one so much that I actually have it in a full size, so I'm getting rid of the sample set. Um, this Kat Von D is a little bit of a sample size, and this is in Berlin. Just not a giant fan of this color, but it is a very good formula. Her Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks are very nice, just not this kind of color. I started getting really picky, like trying to think, okay, what are you really going to use and what are you really not gonna use? So on those same lines are my ColourPop lippies. I got the original ones, which are these. These are the original matte um, formula. They are a little drying. I just use some chapstick underneath, put them on, put chapstick over the top of them. It's not that bad. Sometimes it does break it up, but um, they're just sitting there and I went through all of them and I'm like, okay, what color looks good on me? What color can I see wearing? What color am I really just not going to wear? And one of them would be this highball. I love this color. It's such a beautiful, beautiful bright pink, but I have so many bright pinks and this one is just even more bright, bright than what I would probably wear. So I know she'll wear it. So I'm giving this one to her. This is in Donut. Donut is a beautiful color. A beautiful, beautiful color. If you like kind of like a corally, nudish color, this would be perfect for you. I do love it. It is such a beautiful color, but I just have too many corals and I need to get rid of some. Another color that I'm getting rid of is Bumble and I'm getting rid of Bumble. I know people are probably like thinking I'm crazy just because it's just a little too brown for my taste it might even be a little bit too brown for her taste it doesn't it doesn't look like it does in the container it just looks a little bit too brown 
Like I can handle a little bit of nudie brown, but this is more like brownie brown. So I didn't really, I don't really like it, so I need to just let it go. Next thing I'm getting rid of is from Wet n Wild. It's 903C. I have another one of these. I really love this color. If you've not tried it, you really should. It's just like a perfect like nudie. It says just peachy. It's like a nudie peach. It's really pretty. Definitely go pick up one of those. Um, and then I'm also getting rid of this Pacifica Power of Love. I think this came in a box or something. This is nudie red. Well, it looks like this. It's very beautiful. If you like kind of that nudie burnt orange, you would like it. It just looks nude actually. It doesn't even look red. Um, but I just didn't like the way it looked on me when I tried it. Okay, another one I'm getting rid of is this Cargo Cosmetics. Anguilla lip gloss. This is just a little trial size. I have a lot of things like this that are kind of like where it's like a like a your lips, but kind of just like a gloss. I'm just not feeling this one. I have other ones like it, so I'm gonna pass this on because I know she likes ones like this. I'm also getting rid of this Makeup Forever. Um, this is the Artist Pexi gloss. This is in 202. It's kind of like a very peachy, um, like almost like clear peach. I just don't like these because they're too sticky for me. Um, also this Bite Beauty Little Lip Gloss in 2, like T-W-O. Just again, a little bit too of that pinky, milky look for me. So I'm getting rid of that. And then also Frenemy in the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is a cream formula. It's a beautiful, beautiful formula. Just a little bit too much more of that red burnt look for me. Okay, as for some that have gone bad, this one I'm going to try to go to the Target or something and try to exchange it if I can because it's just weird. This is from L'Oreal. This is 103 Blushing Harmony. These are, um, I forget what these are called, the elixirs or... Ugh, I can't remember, but I really like the formula. But when I went to try it, the brush on here is almost kind of green. It's it's supposed to be a clear brush. I looked at some of my other ones and they're tinted the color of the lip gloss. This one is green. So it's just a little weird, a little odd, but I really love the color. So I kind of want to keep the color, but I just want a new one that's not a green wand um, and this isn't that old so I'm not sure what happened here or if it is old then I'll just throw it away okay these two as well are not that old I got them in the summer and I don't know if you can see but they have like congealed and like gotten gross um, we got them when we were in Vegas and I went to try them on and it was so gross like part of like the whole thing like you can see it's like it like peels off it's like chunky it's like there's like chunks and jelly and when I first put on my lip it like like I don't know if you can see but see what it's doing there that is so gross it's like a jelly and that was what was on my lip oh it was so gross my husband was here and he was watching me he's like that's just nasty so anyways um these two from wet n wild i'm really sad about i actually did like these these are the fergie line um there is vienna and throwing shades so i do like these colors but that's just gross i'm not down for the jelly lurk going in the trash another one that is not a bad one I just, again, have too many corals. I'm starting to get over the coral thing. Um, not all of it, but just too many of them. Uh, this is Canner's Crush. This is the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. Again, just something that I've just kind of outgrown. It's not bad. It's just a little bit more of the orangey coral that um, I just, I don't know. I just don't love it. So I am going to give this one away. On the same lines of orange, this was not what I thought it would be. This is Banana Split from NYX. This is the Intense Butter Gloss. I love their butter glosses. This is beyond intense. Like, this is just straight orange. There's no coral. There's no peachy. It's just orange. <laughs> so I am going to be getting rid of this. On the same lines, it's not open, so I don't want to open it, is this one from LA uh la girl this is the glaze life paint these are supposed to be dupes for the for the Too faced melted ones they are not the melted ones are way better but these are a close second um but again this orange i will not wear so i'm getting rid of this one and then also a butter gloss that i really love these but this color i just 
I am not going to wear this. It's just too blue of a purple. Um, it's really pretty, but just not my cup of tea. Um, okay, this I got when it was all the rage. Everybody was getting them. These are the Color Your Smile from Whitening Lightning before they went to Dry Cosmetics with the mirror and it has the little lighted thing. This is the one in Fiji. I did keep the nude one. It was a set that I bought. But again, this is just too cool. It just, they look silly on me when it's just too cool of a color. So I am gonna be getting rid of that. This e.l.f. plumping lip gloss, again, same thing. It's a beautiful Barbie pink, but just a little too cool for my okay. life. From e.l.f., I have um, one of their Luscious Liquid Lipsticks and also a Hyper Shine Gloss. The Hyper Shine Gloss I've never used, so I'll see if somebody wants it. It's just too sticky for me and I do like these lush luscious liquid lipsticks I'm just not digging this color very much and then also I have a Stila lip glaze these are just definitely way too sticky for me so I will be getting rid of this as well um here's another one of the L elf lip lush lips I'm just I don't know there's something with the consistency and the color it's more like a tint um I'm just not down for it Okay, I do have two of these Wet n Wild Balm Stains. These were all the rage. I hunted them down. They're really just nothing there. They don't stain very well. They don't have a lot of pigment. I know it's a stain, not or a tint. Um, or I'm sorry, one is a stain, one is a tint. This is a tint, this is a stain. Um, the stain one, again, too cool of a Barbie pink for me. Doesn't look good on me. The tint is just too much of a tint. There's just nothing there. It's like, you might as well just put gloss on your lips. So, getting rid of those. Okay, also, um, there's a Pop Beauty Pouty Pop Crayon. This is kind of like the same thing as like Tarte. Um, also, the It Cosmetics Je ne It's supposed to warm up to your lips, create a color. I just don't like this pop version, so I will be getting rid of this. Okay, from e.l.f., the Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick. This I used to wear all the time. It's nice. It's just, I have so many like kind of clear tinted stuff. It's just, I just don't want this anymore. Same thing with this Whisper, this color Whisper, same thing. It's just very light in tint. It's a little bit too milky of a coral. It kind of looks like you had milk with orange lipstick. I don't know. I just don't like it. And then this makeup, uh, this Forever 21 lipstick, I really thought I was going to like this, but it is just too drying. It's a beautiful color, but it's just way too, too drying. So this is good. And then this It Cosmetics, I love all things It Cosmetics. This lipstick is beautiful. It's in Rose Flush. But again, it, it kind of is on the same lines of it looks like a beautiful color in the tube, but there is just not much that comes out. It's just like kind of putting some gloss on your lips. So this one I will be getting rid of as well. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of a mini declutter. Like I said, I'm not very good at decluttering because I'm kind of a hoarder, but I know I did try on every single lipstick to try to see if I like it or not, if I would wear it. So I'm gonna get better about rotating my lipsticks and start using what I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.